Uh, we're continuing our discussion about duct and system design. Uh, the last module we discussed was air filtration. Uh, and one of the things that we saw on our filter was the salt test. Uh, we still haven't cleaned up our floor from our salt test because there's a lot of uh, debris on the floor where, that went straight through our filter, but that's okay. We'll have that cleaned up in just a minute. So we talked about what type of filter not to use. What we want to do now is go a little bit more in depth into filters and why filters have become so important as far as for an indoor air quality stand, standpoint, but also customer uh, uh, complaint standpoint. Uh, very important, and we talk again about sizing of a duct and static pressure. We also have a static pressure on returns, and so it's important uh, that we get a return duct size properly. One of the general rules of thumb that we found that seems to work fairly well is a uh, 12 by 12 per ton of air conditioning. As an example, a two ton unit should have about a 20 by 20 return air grill in order to allow the, the uh, velocity of the air, uh, taking into account the static pressure of the grill itself, the, plus the filter. So when we have a grill that's sized properly, that we have enough surface area, the velocity of the air is fairly slow on a return, but we can also get some good filtration. Example of one of the filters that we use many times with our customers is something that looks like this. This is the same size filter that we had in our salt test. This filter will actually fit in about 90% of the returns just as that one inch filter did. You'll notice this filter has a one inch lip running around the perimeter of it where it actually fits inside our standard return air grill. What's different about it is we have an extra three inches of filter. Overall, this filter is four inches thick. Filters are rated in what's called a MERV rating. It's M-E-R-V. MERV stands for Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value. It's just like miles per gallon on a car. The higher the number, the more efficient the filter is. This, tip, this typical filter is a MERV 10 rated filter. A MERV 10 rated filter is capable of filtering out some bacteria, mold spores, uh, pollen, uh, even smaller particles of dirt. This type of filter would pass the salt test. Uh, and we see this time and time again. This filter has an average life of about six to nine months. Uh, therefore, it's unnecessary to change filters every month. It results in uh, better indoor air quality. They're cheaper than the standard allergy filters that you'll find in your home improvement stores. Uh, and these will also filter much better and filter much more often. <clears throat> Within reason, a dirty filter will work better than a clean filter. So we have little uh, ladies for customers who will change out the standard fiberglass filters. They'll change them out three times a month or a couple of times a month, something like that that's almost ridiculous. And we have a conversation with them and explain to them that as these filters begin to load up, as the filters begin to get dirt stacked on, on the surface of the filter, they actually begin to start uh, filtering out smaller and smaller particles. So it's actually better. But again, again, we have to uh, get to a point where we will increase our static pressure to the point we won't be able to draw air through it. So there's a fine line there. But just understand that the more media that we have in a filter, uh, the, the more filter material with a pleat, uh, this one actually runs this direction all the way across, uh, which is a tremendous amount of media uh, to catch dirt and other particles in an airstream. Uh, this will again aid in indoor air quality. Have any questions, give us a call. My name's Robert Curry. Eric code 409-883-9616. Thank you.